Hi everyone, my name is Helen. You're highly welcome to this channel. Thank you for coming back and thank you as well if this is your first time. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up AWS budget in your account. Setting up AWS budget provides you with cost transparency, control and the ability to make data driven decisions to optimize your AWS spending leading to more efficient resource utilization and cost savings. Um, so I'm pretty sure you don't want to spend unnecessarily and and you don't want to end up like actually funny right with aws budget setup you can receive notifications when your usage approaches or exceed the free tier limit even if you're not using a free tier account um aws budget is for everyone everyone should set up a budget um it will allow you to monitor your usage more effectively and prevent unexpected charges track your expenses if you decide to use services beyond the free tier so this is aws budget or you can actually just type it here budget and you see budget here so click on it right so i actually have a budget set already in this account so let's go ahead and create our budget i've clicked on create budget and under budget setup you can either use a template or customize board so i don't want to use template because i actually want to set up parameters that is specific to my own use case so i'll choose customize and um under the budget types, you have different kind of uh, type of budget you can actually set. You can read up each of these to actually understand what um, understand the one that is specific to your use case. But then this is actually recommended by AWS. So let's go with cost budget, and I'll uh, click next. If I scroll down, let me add my budget name. So I will add um, tutorial budget and scroll down. Let's set the budget amount. So uh, under period, if I click on this, uh, we have daily, monthly, quarterly and annually. So do you want to set a monthly uh, budget or daily, quarterly or annually? So let's go with a monthly budget amount and um, under the budget renewal type so we have either recurring budget or expiring budget so which one do you want to go with do you want this to be recurring recurring budget is basically a type of budget that you can set up to monitor and track your cost and usage on an ongoing basis uh, the expiring budget you know um is a type of budget that allows you to set up a fixed duration or end date for monitoring your cost and use it. So uh, let's leave it at um, recurring. The start month should be June. So this is June. So it, um, this budget will be starting this month. If you want it a uh, later month, you can actually go ahead and select that. The budgeting method here, we have three budgeting methods, fixed plan and auto adjusting so with this fixed plan you can create a budget that tracks against a single monthly budgeted amount let's go with fix and um under enter your budgeted amount you can now go ahead and set up the amount so uh take for instance i can enter ten dollars here so whatever amount you're entering it will be in dollars right so let me go with ten dollars you can set five dollars you can set two dollars <laughs> if you don't really want to spend <laughs> almost nothing so i'm going i'm going with ten dollars and um under the budget scope we have um all services and filter options so you can set up this budget for all the AWS services to track any cost incurred from any service in this account or you can actually filter it 
so if i want to filter it based on the budget so take for instance if i want to just apply this budget uh, against my ec2 instance i can go ahead and uh, filter it and click on add filter and then in the dimension i'll click on um, service and then i can go ahead and select the ec2 instance and yeah and you can as well select more than that so if you want any um any number of service you want to select from here you can go ahead and select them right and click on apply filter but i don't want to go ahead with this i'll cancel this so this budget i want to apply it for all the services in this account and then under this advanced options we have aggregate costs uh, if I click on this, we have unblended costs, amortized, amortized costs, and blended costs. What does this mean? So, unblended costs basically shows the raw, unprocessed cost of um, individual AWS resources without any cost allocation or blending. The amortized cost um, is like um, to kind of distribute one-time cost over a specific period for services involving the um, reserve capacity or upfront payment um why this blended cost basically aggregate cost by incorporating cost allocation discounts credits and transfers um let's go with on blended cost so yeah blended cost and um click next if i scroll down um so here you can add an alert threshold for notifications to be notified on the state of your budget you can create up to five different alerts based on your budgeted amount okay so um let me go ahead and click on alert threshold under this this threshold you can you know select based on how you want to add this threshold i want to select 50 percent and um i want it to be in percentage so you can see you can choose the absolute value or percentage so what i actually want to achieve is to be notified when the actual cost is greater than 50 percent of my budgeted amount okay so what happens is that if the actual cost you know exceed 50 percent of my budgeted amount which is um five dollars it will trigger an alert indicating that indicating that the alert threshold has been exceeded so you can as well choose forecasted and this forecasted can see the summary saying that when your forecasted cost is greater than 50 percent of your budgeted amount then the alert threshold will be, will be exceeded so i want to go with this actual uh, trigger under email recipient uh here you can go ahead and specify the email recipient you want to notify when the threshold has exceeded okay so you can add more than one email depending on the people you want to notify um so here i'll just add one email abc at gmail.com and we also have options for amazon sns alert and aws chatbot alert so we don't want to go into this you may want to add more than one alert threshold for probably granular monitoring um you know budget allocation for instance you can set it for different teams you can set budget for different projects or departments and that will require to add different alert uh, mod, you know, multiple alert threshold it's also good for cost optimization you know multiple alerts are different percentages of the budgeted amount it will allow you for it to allow for closely monitoring okay um so we don't want to add more than one alert this one is good for us now so click next if i scroll down uh, this is the alert we just added i'll click next and in this page you can review what you've done i'll click on create budget great so this the, the budget has been created so what happens now is that whenever the threshold exceeds 50 percent of the budgeted amounts i'll be notified via email okay so setting up your account is very very um vital it will help you to track your expenses if you decide to use services beyond the free tier limits thank you so much for 
watching this video uh, i really appreciate you please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly do so and give me a thumbs up by liking this video comment if you have any question or share your feedback in the comment section and share this video with your friends as well so they don't spend they don't you know pay charges unnecessarily right so it can help them to track their cost in aws thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next video